back into place and has to make sure that the base of the lateral sternum is flush up against the casting of the machine. It should not be crooked. If it is crooked, the needle position will be wrong and will also throw off the sensors. So make sure that it's sitting in nice and that the back is flush with the casting. Now we're going to take a look and we're going to learn how to center the needle. Make sure the handle is on the loose epi and you can turn the gear to locate the screw at the top of the cam. There is actually two of them. You're going to have one screw facing up and the other screw is going to be facing the head puller pin. The one at the 12 o'clock position and the other screw must be aligned with the head puller pin. This is how you know that the needle should be in center position. step motor slightly. You have to make sure that you keep the screw facing up and the other screw facing the head puller pin. And as we take that and we hold it gently, we can shift the head from left to right and forward to center. Okay, and make sure when you grab it that you do not hurt the sensor. Now to do this, of course, you need to bring the needle down. So grab the needle bar clamp pull down on it and turn the handle in. Make sure that we pull it down and always while pulling it down turn the handle so it stays in place. Now you can see if we go to the top there and we move the step motor you can see the needle moving from left to right. Make sure that it is centered and hold it tight and tighten the screws. Remember it is very important to make sure that the cam has one screw facing up and the other screw facing the head puller pin. This is how the machine knows that it's supposed to be in center position. If you have these screws facing the right way, you can center it 